Hey guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a video on a little trend that I have seen a lot of other creators to do that I thought was cute and pretty fun. So I am going to be showing you my top five handbags. So the trend is that you pick five bags from your handbag collection if hypothetically you had to start all over. So we're gonna get straight into this video, but like always, I do wanna take the time to thank everybody who's watched my videos, who's liked, commented, and subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna get straight into the video. that I am going to talk about is my Speedy Bandelier in the Damier Bean color. Now, I almost hate to show you this bag, and every time I talk about this bag, I talk about this bag and the Neverfull. I just talk about how basic this bag is, but this bag is very popular for a good reason, and it's one of my most practical bags. In my collection, I have had this bag since 2016, so about six years, and it looks um, pretty much the same that it did when I purchased it. It has minimum wear. I love the fact that it has like the top handle, but it also has a strap that is adjustable and it's long enough for me to wear crossbody. The canvas is very durable and it just really is a great handbag. This was one of my first luxury purchases and I definitely do not regret this purchase at all. So much so that I definitely would put this one in my top five. I love the Damier of being print of the canvas because I feel that it's understated and it's not as loud or gaudy as the monogram so this is the first bag that I would keep now this next bag is my absolute favorite bag in my entire collection this is Gucci's Dionysus in the mini size. It has like a um, black leather with the Sororsky crystals and a tiger head clasp. I did not expect this bag to be my favorite bag when I purchased this bag, but I love this bag. It is so practical. Because of the color of the strap, it is not like this really really shiny silver metal and I, I do feel like that is long along with like this pebbled type of leather it kind of gives it this more casual look so you are able to wear this bag in the daytime but the crystals in the tiger head make it look very sophisticated so it easily transitions to nighttime in fact I wear this primarily in the evening you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can adjust the straps like so and wear it as like a longer shoulder bag you could wear it as a crossbody as well as well i tend to not do that but it's definitely an option there's something very feminine and ladylike about this bag that i really like i think i'm just like really a sucker for the crystals especially when the light hits the crystals i really feel like this bag is super underrated you don't see a ton of people with this bag especially not the leather I love this bag so much that eventually I probably will get the small size which is medium prior to purchasing this bag I didn't really find myself gravitating towards shoulder bags a ton but this is the one that really stole my heart and I love this bag so much. It is small, but you can fit quite a bit in this. It is a lot more pricier than the Super Mini, but I always rep recommend the mini size because it's much more practical and I definitely would need to keep this bag. 
this next beautiful bag is newer to my collection i got this bag a few months ago for a really great deal i believe i got this bag for 60 percent off this is my bottega padded cassette bag it is in this beautiful shiny mirror like silver leather it is one of my most unique bags and especially since this bag is discontinued it is one that i could not let go of at first i was a little apprehensive about the leather i'm trying to turn it so i'm gonna hold it on this side because the sun is shining right in my window so that you guys get less of a glare even the handle has like this mirror smooth silver type of leather at first i was apprehensive about the silver i was worried it would be too loud this is definitely a statement piece it's something that's really unique that i know that i'm not gonna see anybody with but it's not too out there because silver to me is still like a neutral color and if you notice anything about my collection you will know that there are a lot of neutrals in my collection i find myself gravitating towards those colors the most and this is something that is easy to style for me because it still is a neutral but it still has that statement piece and that pizzazz if i'm feeling like i want to make a statement or i want to make heads turn so i love this bag so much now this next bag i talked about recently i did a video where i compared gucci's tote with mcm's tote and louis vuitton's never fool and i just compared the bags and talked about value and i have to have absolutely have to have a tote in my collection i am a tote girl the Neverfull was also one of my first luxury handbags and I just can't live without a tote practically speaking. It's not the most stylish bag in the world, totes aren't, but they are very practical and I just need to have a tote in my life. I tend to wear totes often during the week or during the weekend. It's just like really easy for me to grab a tote and go. I was torn between this bag and MCM's bag just because you do get a pouch with that bag and you don't get a pouch with this bag. And I do think that bag overall is the better value. But once again, this bag is so unique. It is discontinued now. I do think you can get these this bag presently at the outlet. So I mean, I, I guess I could get it again, but I really do like this bag. I like the denim. I prefer Gucci's monogram over MCM and LV. There's a dog barking outside. I feel like there's like a million things going on outside. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. So I decided on this bag. It's not really much to say about this bag. I think it's self-explanatory. It, this bag is really easy to style, even if you're not wearing denim. I actually prefer wearing this bag, not with denim, especially in the spring and summer. If you have like a dress on, like a casual sundress or something like that, or a jumpsuit this is like really easy to grab and put on it, it's like jeans denim for the most part matches with everything so i really really love this bag this bag is not super common especially compared to the mcm bag or um louis vuitton's never full where if you go to the mall you're going to see a lot of people with that bag so that's another thing that i really love i do feel like gucci's tote is not even in the regular monogram is not super popular but especially with the denim it is not and i really really love 
that that aspect of the bag it is very simple but it has like a little pizzazz to it and a little bit of uniqueness so this is why i would need to keep this bag as well now this next bag is a little bit more controversial um, and i went back and forth about whether or not i was going to include this bag in my top five or not so this bag is balenciaga's hourglass bag now the only reason that i would not include this bag is obviously because of the scandal that balenciaga got themselves i believe almost a year ago i bought this bag for myself for as a birthday gift slash graduation gift this was when i finished law school i finished taking the bar and bar I think it was like a few re weeks before bar results came out and I felt like I could finally like breathe because studying for the bar really just like takes the life out of you and I had been really wanting this bag for a really long time and then Balenciaga went ahead and messed up and created all this scandal and I really could not enjoy this bag now I purchased this bag obviously before all of the scandal and I had it for a little while but not enough time to really enjoy it so I did not wear this bag uh, I might have wore it a couple of times, but I haven't really been wearing this bag until recently. Now, I don't believe that Bal Balenciaga is going to be canceled forever. I don't, I wouldn't say, I don't believe that they're still canceled. You guys know how that goes. Um, what I am really disappointed about is that this was, you know, I like to gift myself things. A lot of my bags have sentimental value because most of my handbag purchases, especially my larger ones, are planned purchases. I like to put a lot of thought into handbags. This bag retails for $3,000, so that is a lot of money to not be able to wear in peace and not be associated with some type of scandal for that reason even though this is in bags that i would start off with um that's not considering the scandal if i'm being really really honest and i know this sounds you know like i'm contradicting myself i would really hesitate to spend that kind of money on a brand that is associated with scandal because when you buy a bag especially a luxury bag you just want to enjoy it you don't want to have to worry about all that other stuff and you want to know that you're buying for a brand that at the very least they can protect you from that um but the reason why this is still in my top five is because if you notice anything i really do like neutral colors i do like bags that are easy to style and i picked this bag and i spent a lot of time i actually made a video about it i spent a lot of time considering what color bag i was going to get and i really did not have and i still don't have a lot of light color bag i like this cream color because you can wear it all year round but it is a light color bag but because it's not white it is very easy to style and you don't have to stick to like spring and summer to wear this bag I also like that it is a top handle bag. I wear it as a top handle most of the time, but you can also wear it as a crossbody, and I really love that aspect. Crossbodies are another one of my favorite types of bags. I do like wearing top handle bags a lot as well, but I cannot survive without without a crossbody bag, and my only other crossbody bag that i wear often is my gucci marmot camera bag and it's black so you see my dilemma i needed like a lighter tan neutral kind of bag or cream and this is the bag that i have that fills in that gap and i really do enjoy this bag i love the shape of the bag i love that this bag is unique but it gives you that practicality of having a crossbody bag um, 
there's a reason that this bag became super popular and it's just a shame that Balenciaga got itself caught up in scandal. I do believe though that the scandal will pass and I don't know if this bag is ever going to be that popular because I do believe that this bag is trendy but it's not something that I'm tired of and even though I do believe that this bag is pretty trendy it is something that I feel that I would love for a long time. The fortunate part of this is that I did only pay like $1,900 for this bag. I did buy this bag brand new but from a European retailer but I am hoping now that things have died down that I would be able to enjoy this bag more. I would say I would consider myself to have a pretty humble handbag collection. I did do a handbag collection video I believe last year so I'm gonna leave a card to that video. I find my I, I feel like I have a lot of black bags and a lot of bags that I really enjoy that aren't included in this video so make sure you check that out. I have added more handbags to my collection since making that video but it'll give you a better idea of what my collection looks like. Thank you so much for watching this video especially if you made it to this point. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like content like this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.